from negative infinity up to our point of interest, Kepler's that area. Now, now, one of the, you know, the question was, how do I do this by hand? And the way you do that is you use what's called a z-score. Let me go over here, I got some open space here. And what that is, your point of interest minus your uh, population divided by standard deviation. Now again, I'm going to use the standard deviation of the means. So I plug in my number, 17.9 minus 18.2, and then 0.17889, and that comes out to um, 1.68, okay? Now the way I do that is, and I'm going to switch over here to the table, and so I got this thing called the standard normal. Point down here, Jay. And what I did is I just calculated the Z, and this works like an old battleship game. So I got 1.6, I need that third number, 8, so where those two intersect, and then you get 4.65 or 4.7. Now you've got to be careful, because this, this here actually goes from the point of interest greater than, but I can get away with that because of the symmetry. So that's the way you use a standard normal table, or a Z table, sometimes it's called. First two numbers, over to the third number, and that's the area of the shaded part, 4.7%. That's it. Thanks, James.